Oh, neat. You remember the pogo sticks? Well, let me see your pogo stick one more time. Oh, that's... Oh. I used to be a G on the pogo stick. A pogo G? Stick. What's the G yeah. stand for? Where, a geek? It stands for used good. To be a What up, y'all? Today is going down. We got here late and it is already hot. But we're gonna do what it do. But uh, if y'all can see kind of what that says, Lee Time sent us a battery. We finna have power. <laughs> I need you to put some of the sunblock on too. Okay, we'll see if we're gonna have power today. I really actually don't know exactly if we're gonna get through it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Breathe. <laughs> oh my God. Mm, 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 you have to mm. rub it in. Golly. We are late today. It's like four o'clock in the uh, evening or afternoon or whatever. 4 30. It's 4 30. We're going to try to knock this ground mount out. Let's get it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Homestead homies, deuce to you. Y'all the homies. You feel me? We see you. We're going to get busy. It's full of water. It's good old lead time battery over here. Oh, 165 amp hour battery. We're gonna hook this thing up later. I'm gonna show you the little setup I got. I feel like I'm about to do a medical exam. I'm glad I'm good. I don't need your exam, woman. After we cut the tip off, I hopefully you can see that. So we just take the punch, punch it through. Okay. All right, let's pull the tape. See how far from the front, how far from the back. 183, here we go. Right on the line, come on with it. And I didn't, you gonna do it? Oh, shit. Gotta get it down in there first. Oh. That's it, that's it, go. Just pop it hard. There you go. Okay. That's the one that goes all, all the way down? Yeah. All the way to the... And we gonna eyeball it. It looks straight. Stand over with a solid base. Yeah. Hold, hold up. <laughs> Ain't that so like fun. you remember the pogo sticks? Oh yeah. Well, let me see your pogo stick one more time. Oh, that's oh. I used to be a G on the pogo. A pogo G? Stick. What's the G yeah. stand for? Where a geek? It stands for used good. To be a, a good. <laughs> one more? Yeah. Okay. Wait, did you catch it? Yes, yeah, I feel like caught. I moved it. That's okay. Push it up just a little bit. Oh, you want to talk about me? <laughs> okay, we can move it. 91 and a half, that bad boy. Yeah. Yes. 91 and a half. It's on there? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's hard right there. And would you look at how even and purdy that is. Water break. Five dollars, sir. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, level lady. Right there. Ah, go back. Go in between. There's, huh? Go back down a tiny bit. Let me get level so I can make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Where's your phone at? Let me get a 30 degree on this. So we're going to drill right here. And we're going to drill right here. Last time he was just out here playing around. Got it? Up. 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 Mm, up a little bit more. A little bit more. Right there. Oh. Tell me when you're ready. That's it. What other bit? Sorry, we just gonna go through. Let me drill through this bad boy. And then let's get this 30 down here. Your phone. And a good 30. And then I'm gonna drill the holes through and Say when. Down, down, down. Right there. Right there? Mm hmm Yeah? Yeah. Push through. Bolt, push through. All right. Hopefully y'all can see this. These are the bolts we're putting through there. They are two inches. Uh, throwing a washer on this bad boy so that on the other side, the washer will stop. Sorry, y'all, we're not really all that good at teaching and showing people, but this is a quarter inch bolt. And then we're gonna put a lock washer, which has got like a little cut in it on the end there. Hopefully you can see that. And then a nut as normal. So we're gonna throw our washer on the bolt push it through the hole it came through the hole lock washer yep and then good old nut throw that on there and because the wood will pull in that washer on the other side and this just take our drill driver and slowly tighten until it catches on the other side and then i'm touching it over here to feel how much it's in is digging into the wood so just needed a little bit and boom that's how we setting them up and you seen earlier how we got it level so that's that's the deal and then after we get all this done we'll probably throw some bracing across it depending on how much bracing it needs but yeah second one done all right y'all so i don't know if you noticed but we have Two pieces of long wood, which is our tops and our bottoms. That's one of them. And then we had the bottle separate. We couldn't use any of the ones we already had. They're too short. And then the other one, which is right there. It is what it is. We're not going to make it to the Lowe's, to the hardware store to get the wood. And I want power today. So I got to have it. So real quick we just gonna put the top on and the bottom on and we'll knock the rest of this thing out later but we finna put the top and the bottom on cut these metal pieces off of each one so we're gonna swip it and swap it and swip it and swick it so it's pretty thank you sir thank you kind sir i'd marry you if i wasn't married already i'm already taken so you can put yours right to the end is it on the end? It is now. You come ready, ready. Am I square? And that's about the middle. And we're gonna get us a little, a little pilot. No splitty, no splitty. 
and those are deck screws y'all so that's in and then we'll go down here do the same thing by golly sir you did a good job oh whoa where are you going sir Okay. All right. Five inches from that side. five inches from that side. I'm, I'm gonna have to get some snips, some real ones. Right there, self tap out. Ooh, that was hot. And then watch your fingers. All right, strapping on one end. Maybe I could have did two in. No, just one in. And then I, you can see where I'm about to learn from this mistake. The hole, the hole is on the middle where the panel meets the wood. And it would have been nice if I could have split that and then had a little bit on both sides, but the panel is actually pretty thick under there, so I could have went a little lower. Half a 30 gives us 15. Move real slow. There we go. All right, y'all, it's getting late and this contraption is what's gonna give us power. Man, if y'all want, I'll explain this later. I built that for my mom so that she can have backup battery power for her refrigerators and freezers and all of that stuff. But I built that, how long, about a year ago? What we got here is 165 amp hour lead time battery so it's got a app and i'll show you guys the app as well and we'll also hook some stuff up to it and see how stuff works got some bolts that goes in the top of that for the terminals and then they got a battery guy for the 12 volt battery 165 amp hour i'm not using it I know I'm an amateur, y'all, but uh, some of this is pretty straightforward. Positive to positive, so reds. And then I'm gonna throw my negative on real quick. And again, y'all, I'll explain this later if y'all wanna know how I did it, but this is kind of an older way. So the power that we get set up at the house here, it probably won't be 12 volts, or maybe some of it will be. It depends, I'm not gonna waste power, but we're gonna be on a 48 volt system. And we are gonna have a little fun. I'm going to touch on the battery. It tells me it's at 100%. We're good to go. There's no power rolling through it. Looks like the battery is balanced. The cells are balanced. Say normal. The battery is balanced. Yep. And the BMS is balanced. All right. You can see the temperature down there. The times that it cycled is brand new. So no cycles yet. So yeah, let's, let's see what we can run through this thing and see what happens when I run stuff. We're going to try to hurry, y'all, because it is, yeah, the light's going behind the trees. Okay, so I told y'all a minute ago, battery's hooked up, it's full, everything is good. We haven't run any solar into it yet because it doesn't need any power, so let's drain it a little bit and see what's going on. That's my inverter. I'm going to turn the system on, and then I'm going to make my breaker come on, and I hope you guys can see that. It is ready to plug something in. All right, let's see. Ninety-nine percent. 
<laughs> it went down one percent okay we got some power tools running let me throw that over here give me something else now we got us a old black and decker y'all know i like battery power but i ain't got many corded tools so this is what it is plugging that in man that's old 75 percent y'all i probably had it's down 75 percent i was gonna say all right let's try something else y'all try something big and we're gonna plug her in I don't know if y'all could really see that because it's getting it's getting dark out here but we got the fan on it's being powered by the battery and that little contraption right there so just to get y'all a closer look that's basically it y'all what else we got to hook up let's hook up one more thing we got oh. a magic bullet oh. mango juice some unfrozen berries. Some unfrozen strawberries and blueberries. Go ahead. You ain't want to get in there? All right, y'all. Got the magic bullet plugged in and the fan on. And I hope you can hear us really well because the fan is probably blowing right into the mics. Well, I can turn it off. Let me just unplug it right quick. All right, y'all, fan off. She was out here living the life with a fan out in the middle of nowhere. All right, so let's get it. The app ain't moving? Yeah. It's drawing 188 watts. Okay. Get your drink on. That's good. That's good. Let me have some. Can I get some of that? Mm. Okay. What else we got? Is that it? That's it. We got to pack up. It's time to go. That's the encore. Okay. Behind me, the sun is setting and it's actually so beautiful. Uh, real quick, let me show y'all that we plugged up solar panels with what little bit of light that we have left and you can see the wattage going in on the app so i'll leave that running first off it's a lead time 12 volt 165 amp hour bluetooth lithium battery it's typically used for rvs and marine equipment and of course like us off-grid storage uh the battery is the highest energy density leader in group 31 lfp batteries so that means it's designed for high power and long endurance scenarios kind of the downfall to it though is that it's insufficient power for like big devices that pull a lot of heat so like coffee makers or ac heat units or microwaves you get instant power boost of like 825 amps and then you've been looking at this the whole time the bluetooth smart monitoring it's uh their 2025 flagship model uh it's exclusively launched by lead time and again, Lee Time, we appreciate y'all. It's not bad. It'll get done what you need to get done. Anyway, cheers. We are tired and out of here. She just told me I had some in my teeth. Mm. So we 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 done. Anything you gotta say? Time to go home. Mm.